Hello, welcome to our family devotions, this special Advent edition. Uh, because we can't have any sort of online service on our when we're having our regular Wednesday services, we thought we'd do this, uh, share our family devotions with you. And so we've got our Advent candles here that we'll be lighting and we're going to be doing our devotions. We're going to be using uh, my first hymnal, Josiah's little hymnal and the order of service that's in there. But also we're going to be using Michaela's um, devotional book, Shadow and Light. Uh, it's just a, an Advent book um, with some devotions and other activities, some saint days, and, and lots of cool and unique things in there. So if you're interested in checking that out, I would encourage you to do so. Uh, we haven't used it yet. You're kind of joining us for a bit of that journey, uh, but it looks amazing so far. But, oh, we should light the Advent candle. Do you want to come watch? So... Since this is week one, we light just the first candle. And there it goes. All right, come sit on mommy's lap now. And we're going to do evening prayers. You ready? We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice, sacrifice, joyous light of glory of, of the, the immortal Father, Father Heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. All right, and today we are reading from Psalm 10. Why, O Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In arrogance, the wicked persecute the poor. Let them be caught in the schemes they have devised. They stoop, they crouch, and the helpless fall by their might. They think in their heart, God has forgotten, he has hidden his face, he will never see it. Rise up, O Lord, O God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the oppressed. Why do the wicked renounce God and say in their hearts, you will not call us to account? But you do see, indeed, you note trouble and grief that you may take it into your hands. The helpless commit themselves to you. You have been the helper of the orphan. Break the arm of the wicked and evil doers. Seek out their wickedness until you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nation shall perish from his land. O Lord, you will hear the desire of the meek. You will strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear to do justice for the orphan and the oppressed, so that those from earth may strike terror no more. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do you want to sit on my lap while we sing? Or mommy's lap? Mommy's lap. Okay. okay ready? Savior of the nations, come. Virgin Son, make here your home. Marvel now, O heaven and earth, that the Lord chose such a birth. Here a maid was found with child, yet remained a virgin mild. In her womb this truth was shown, God was there upon his throne. From the manger newborn light shines in glory through the night. Darkness there no more resides, in this light faith now abides. All right. And we're going to say Luther's evening prayer. I, I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. We're all done. Do you want to blow out the candle for us? Try again. There you go. All right. And we're going to say bye-bye. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye.